What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today, we get to talk about something or get an introduction to something. I'm going to give a lot of in-depth kind of walkthrough on those that are in my master class. Because this is something that, again, this I talk about this constantly. But I'm going to give you a different viewpoint on it. And... Like I said, just look at this as an introduction for those that are in the master class because it's coming. For the most part, I have an opportunity of doing this every day because as Deontay Wilder says, I don't play law. This is my life. This is what I do day in, day out. And a lot of times I'm looking at everyday situations and I get an opportunity to speak with people literally multiple times a day going from situation to situation. And it leaves me with a lot of unanswered questions because sometimes it seems repetitive when in actuality it's needing of a different vantage point. Now, where this comes in at is last night, well, earlier this morning, I found myself watching Power Book 2 Ghost. Well, those that don't watch the series, shame on you. Well, in season one and literally episode one, Method Man is playing a character and he's a very successful attorney. And there's a point in which there's a conversation with Tasha, who is a defendant. And she is charged with, I believe, murder. And there's a point where she has to allocute. Now, that has very little to do with what I'm talking about today. Well, she fires her attorney because she does not want to allocute something that can't be proven because anything she says has to be substantiated because it has to be tangible because you can't argue with yourself. Well, the reason why I met the man came up in this is the fact that Tasha fires her original attorney. And in the firing... The attorney tells Tasha's son, Tariq, you need an attorney that does not need the truth to win. The reason why he went to Method Man is because Method Man does something that all successful defense attorneys do. Focus only on the evidence against you that's being presented by your accuser, not your side. Because what a lot of us get caught up in, it's not about the truth. It's what can be sold to a jury. When you're forcing someone to prove their allegations, and you're forcing them to go out and say, you know what, this is what if someone was thinking, this is what you can do to fight against that. Because knowing is half the battle and understanding, no one cares about your side. However, if someone is accusing you of something, they are the ones that have to do the explaining. They are the ones that have to provide the evidence. You don't owe anyone an explanation for anything. That is what this is about. Understanding that you only have to defend what's being put in front of you. And if nothing is put in front of you, there's a duty of a vigorous defense that must be executed in order for that system to work as it is supposed to. So keep that in mind. Again, I go deeper in the master class. So if you haven't signed up, pick a tier, join. We're getting ready to do some very fun, very in-depth things for the most part. And we're going to become more efficient. Yeah, I think that's the word. More efficient at what we're doing and executing in these courts and protecting our own rights. So... Love you guys. Keep signing up. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. And I put something in the community section. And we're going to thank DLR Garage. 
because it was a gift from him. Don't forget, I've also given you guys the information. If you're wanting to send something to me, I've given you that location drop box. I'll put it down in the description so you guys can have it. It's also in the community area. There are other things that are going to be members only that I'm going to be posting. Because again, law is life. And we're going to keep going. We're going to keep growing. So Supreme...